Hey guys, Tips here, bringing you an ESO video. Now straight away, you press the right analog stick to crouch, and make sure you head in before you steal anything. And what I do is I steal stuff over the value of 30, and nothing under, because anything else is pretty much a waste of your invent space, because you don't want your inventory space to fill up with a load of crap, because you might come across something that you want to keep or something that's rare and you're going to have to delete some of them. Stolen items cannot be sold to the merchants, traders guild cannot be traded to other players and they cannot be sent through mail. Now I do get a blue law book here which is a crafting style for orcs and you can get blue items and stuff like that, but it is very rare. Now, if you go into your inventory, look at one of the items you have just stolen. It should have a red marker in the top right hand corner and it should say stolen. To trade it, sell it and stuff like that, you need to go to the ledger domain. Now you enter the ledger domain two ways, this is the one in Daggerfall and you go through the sewer entrance or the entrance on the other side. Now this is a fence. You can only sell 50 items and you can only launder 50 items. Now all your stolen items will show up here and if you don't want to keep something, sell it. And if you want to keep something, you go to launder and what launder does, you have to pay to get rid of the stolen symbol. So you can use it, you can sell it, you can trade it with another player, you can put it on the trading guild and basically the item will act as if you never stole it and you can use it as if you never stole it. There are banks down here and they're connected to your original bank and it's all the same. Now there are also merchants down here, they work the same way as any other merchant does. You can buy stuff, you can buy back stuff, you can sell stuff and you can repair stuff. And now the entrance, the second entrance, or in this case the exit is to the left of the bank or the loner as it's called. If you're ever struggling to find the exit or entrance there's always a white symbol on the door that looks like three daggers and that's how you know where the entrance or exit is for the ledger domain. Thanks for watching guys, hope you liked it, hope it helped you out like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.